Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Talking About Numbers Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new Numbers PDF Cheat Sheet, you'll learn all the basic numbers, how to talk about your age, and tons more number-related phrases. Second, the How to Count to One Billion PDF. With this new printable ebook, you'll learn how to count from zero to a billion. Download it now for free. Third, 15 ways to learn on your commute. Want to know the best ways to learn when you're on the go? This one minute lesson will reveal 15 new ways to learn and master languages. Fourth, want to learn how to order food in your target language? Then this one minute lesson is for you. You'll learn the 20 most common phrases and questions you'll need at a restaurant. Fifth, want to learn the language on your phone? Then download our Innovative Language 101 app for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. You'll learn fast and start speaking in minutes with three to 15 minute audio and video lessons. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 33% off premium or premium plus with the monster sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. In this video, you'll learn three reasons you're never too old to learn a language, and you'll also learn three ways our learning system can help people of all ages to study efficiently. Number one, seniors have better focus. Learning a new language in your 50s or 60s may actually be easier than learning as a teenager or young adult. More mature adults can better focus on the details necessary to master a new language. Older people are also often more dedicated to their goals and put more work into achieving them. Seniors are better able to focus on completing lessons and reaching goals. There are a lot of distractions out there these days for young people. There's everything from Facebook to Instagram and all the usual drama of daily life at work and at school. Seniors are typically less concerned with these kinds of things and are better at focusing on tasks until completion. This is extremely important for language study, where regular practice and attention to detail are key. Not only are you never too old to learn, you may have some advantages over younger learners. Our language learning program has a number of special tools to make learning a new language in your 50s or 60s easy. You'll use the same resources as a tech-savvy teenager. Number two, learning is vital to healthy and happy living. Learning is actually vital to your health. Doing things like playing word games, doing puzzles, and even using online platforms like Luminosity do help keep the mind nimble. But nothing compares to learning a second language in terms of health benefits for your mind. Learning another language may be one of the very best retirement hobbies you can pick up. You can also apply your second language knowledge when you travel. Number three, there are health benefits to learning new things after the age of 60. Learning a second language increases the number of neural pathways in the brain. Forging these new neural pathways helps you code and sort the new language you are learning. In addition, there are other brain health benefits associated with learning a new language. Here's a list of benefits bilingual people can enjoy. Higher overall general intelligence, better memory and memorization skills, better perception of surroundings, better focus, concentration, and attention to detail. So in a very real way, learning a new language is one of the best and most practical retirement hobbies you can find because it helps protect against cognitive decline as you age. Now let's talk about how our language learning program has methods to make sure you can start learning in your 50s, 60s, and beyond. Number one, we have an intuitive, easy to use system. Learning an old age doesn't have to be hard or irritating. It can and should be fun. From your very first lesson, we'll make sure you're speaking fluently every day. You can start and stop each lesson as many times as you want. Study when you want, where you want, and at the pace you decide. Number two, you'll find special tools to boost retention and performance. As we mature, learning to use the right tools is vital to getting jobs done fast and right. So we make it easier than ever to make learning an old age fun and rewarding with a wide range of tools to boost retention and performance, including spaced repetition flashcards, so you can learn vocab fast, line-by-line -line audio transcripts, 
so you can read along with each lesson. Pronunciation and accent review. Instructor lesson notes. Review quizzes. 2,000 core words, enough for fluency. You are truly never too old to learn with more than 20 tools and resources to help boost learning and performance. Number three, you'll get support every step of the way. Although you may never be too old to learn, it doesn't hurt to have a little help along the way. Our language learning system has helped thousands of seniors learn and master a new language with help and support at every step. We offer 24-7 assistance. Just send us an email. We have dedicated language experts standing by to help you with any problem or issue you may be experiencing. There is also instructor feedback. Have specific questions about a lesson or your progress? You can directly email instructors and get direct responses to any question you may have about your studies or lessons. Or try studying with your very own instructor. Members of our exclusive Premium Plus plan not only get a custom curriculum tailored to their very own goals, they also gain access to their very own language instructor. Learning in old age isn't just a luxury, it's crucial to helping avoid the onset of Alzheimer's, dementia, and other age-related cognitive issues. Specifically, learning another language helps increase overall intelligence and improve awareness, memory, and overall cognitive function. So not only are you never too old to learn a new language for health reasons, it's a great way to meet new people and start adventures. Want to cut your language studying time in half? In this video, you'll discover how learning a language using PDF lessons is convenient, efficient, and can help you cut your studying time nearly in half. Many people give up on their dream of learning a second language because traditional classroom instruction is too much of a hassle. Between getting to class, studying on someone else's schedule, and just the sheer expense of the books and tuition, traditional learning can be tough. Many people simply give up. Online classes are an option, but sometimes limited data plans can derail the dream of learning a new language. Fortunately, there is a solution, learning language using PDF lesson notes. Let's take a closer look at how studying language lessons in PDF format can help you reach your dream in about half the time of normal video or audio lessons. First, print all lessons and PDF tools and take them with you anywhere. Sometimes a tiny smartphone screen just isn't adequate, especially when you're trying to learn something new. The great thing about PDF lessons is that they can be quickly printed and taken anywhere after you download them. In fact, printing out lessons in PDF format can actually save you time when compared to going through the material on a smartphone with a small screen, even with the extra printing time. Second, they're a great study tool to boost retention and mastery. Studying video or audio lessons online is a great way to learn a language because students can play and rewind sections as many times as needed until the lesson is mastered. But when you review the same lessons again in PDF format, an incredible thing happens. Your retention dramatically improves. Thanks to time-spaced repetition, seeing the information again in written format helps reinforce the information in your mind and improves both retention and recall. The benefits of learning a language using PDF lessons quickly add up to significant time savings for you, your data plan, and your dream of learning a new language. Third, all lessons in PDF format include in-depth instructor notes. We have thousands of HD video and audio lessons, and each one includes a PDF version with a line-by-line -line transcript so you can read along with the lesson as it appears online. In addition to the line-by-line -line transcript, all lessons include in-depth instructor notes with more information, sample sentences, explanations, and translations. The additional information and notes help you learn faster and with greater mastery than using the video or audio lessons alone. And when paired with language learning video games, video and audio lessons, or other study aids, our PDF lessons help you reach your dream of learning a new language faster and easier than many traditional classroom settings. Fourth, you can download the world's largest online collection of lessons by real instructors. Planning on going on vacation and don't know if you'll have reliable internet service? If you're learning through PDF lessons, it's not a problem. Once you download lessons in PDF format to your smartphone, PC, or favorite media device, they are yours to use and keep forever. Once downloaded, you can either print out or access your lessons in PDF format, regardless of internet access. When you consistently learn through PDF lessons, the time savings and benefits quickly compound. From quicker access to faster learning, 
PDF lessons can potentially reduce total study time required to learn a concept. Our PDF lessons include instructor notes and supplemental resources that help you learn faster and with less effort. Does having a study partner help you learn a language faster? For most people, having a friend or romantic partner who is a native speaker of their target language dramatically improves their ability to master the language. In this video, we'll talk about some ways to help you build relationships with people. We'll also talk about three reasons having a native speaker partner can improve your language fluency. First, knowing a native speaker helps you better understand the culture. Knowing a native speaker gets you connected with the culture in ways that no lessons or textbooks ever could. Native speakers are better informed about the latest slang expressions and know interesting places to eat and hang out. Having a friend or partner who is a native speaker can dramatically improve your understanding of the language. In addition to language, you can learn about cultural practices, gestures, and relationships. Second, having a native speaker partner increases your exposure to the language. Practice makes perfect is a well-known expression that is certainly true for language learning. When you have a friend, romantic partner, or study buddy, you speak to them through text messages, phone calls, and basic interaction. These are all opportunities for you to practice the language. Making an effort to practice will help your vocabulary quickly expand beyond simple greetings, flirtatious words, and basic comments to deeper, more meaningful conversations. Third, a supportive partner is the best study aid you can find. We all make mistakes, especially when trying to learn a new language. But if you have a supportive partner, they can gently point out your mistakes and help you find better ways to express yourself. And if your native speaker study partner is also your romantic partner, your motivation will likely be even higher than someone who does not have a romantic relationship with a native speaker. Now, let's look at three ways our language learning program helps you learn even faster if you have a native speaker partner. First, all resources and materials are available in English and in your target language. Studying with a partner is special because it's an opportunity for both of you to learn a new language. That's why every single lesson, transcript, vocabulary list, and resource on our website is available in English and in your target language. You can learn from each other. Second, lessons are designed to help you understand and engage with culture. On our website, our focus is to help our students learn practical vocabulary and phrases that are actually used in everyday conversation. This means that from your very first lesson, you can start applying what you learn immediately. So if you want to go out to a restaurant, play games, or attend a social function with your partner, you'll have the vocabulary and phrases necessary to have a great time. Third, access to special resources dedicated to romantic phrases. If your study partner is your romantic partner, we have resources to help you communicate your feelings correctly. Our language learning program has special sections and tools to teach you love words, phrases, and cultural insights. Of course, please remember that simply being in a relationship is no substitute for studying. Communication is key to every relationship, whether romantic or not. If you fail to continue expanding your vocabulary and you stop learning the language on your own, your relationships may suffer or fizzle out. Without question, spending time with native speakers can help you dramatically improve your language proficiency. But this is no replacement for focused studying. It's essential to help facilitate better communication and master the language. Want to transform your driving time into language learning time? How much time do you spend in your car every day? 30 minutes? More than an hour? Why not put this huge amount of time to good use? Instead of just listening to the radio during your daily commute, you could be learning a new language instead. Here are three easy methods for learning a language in your car. You can put them to use right away with the help of our language learning program. First, you can listen to fun audio lessons by real teachers. Listening to lessons while in the car allows you to focus on the road as you listen and learn. In every one of our three to 15 minute lessons, our teachers teach you conversations, new phrases, and cultural points. Audio is the only learning medium that lets you learn and drive safely at the same time. So take advantage of all our audio lessons available. Second, you can set your lessons on autoplay and go hands-free. Our autoplay feature lets you keep your hands on the wheel without even reaching for your device. Just set your lessons to autoplay one by one with our Innovative Language 101 app and never have to interrupt your focus on driving to switch to a new lesson. Third, you can repeat out loud and speak from your very first lesson. You want to speak a new language too, right? Well, you'll start learning conversations minutes into your lessons. All you have to do is listen and repeat out loud. 
our teachers take you step-by-step -step through all of the words, phrases, translations, and grammar points. You're even prompted to speak out loud and repeat. The result? You understand it all and can speak your new language. Turn your commute into language learning time and have fun at the same time. Learning doesn't have to be a big commitment, like signing up for a college class. It can be fun and easy. In fact, it's as easy as pressing play. Our language learning programs will do the work for you. And with the exposure you get while driving on your daily commute, you'll be speaking and understanding real life language quickly. The best part? You can finally learn without even changing your schedule. So if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. The three powerful language learning lessons you'll pick up at the gym. And today you're going to learn one, how to approach your goals, two, how to find time to learn a language, and three, why you don't need the best possible routine or learning program. So, if you've ever spent time in the gym, you'll quickly see how similar training and language learning are. But before we move on, listen up. Here are this month's new lessons and resources. First, want to perfect your pronunciation? Then get our new pronunciation PDF cheat sheet right now. You'll learn how to sound like a native speaker and how to practice your pronunciation. Second, do you know the seven tested ways to learn language fast? With this new ebook, you'll learn how to use our learning system to speak better, remember more words, and improve fast. Download it for free right now. Third, 20 useful phrases for a hair salon. Would you be able to get a haircut in your target language? If you said no, then this one minute lesson is just what you need. Fourth, 20 phrases for doing business successfully. If you're learning the language for work, this one minute lesson is for you. You'll learn the 20 most common greetings, phrases, and questions for business meetings. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. The three powerful language learning lessons you'll pick up at the gym. The first lesson is how to approach your goals and language learning. So why are we talking about the gym? The gym is a great example because it's filled with people working on their goals and it gives you a snapshot of where most people are with their goals. And everyone there has one goal, to be fit. But not everyone is there yet. You have a few people that look like fitness models. Then you have around 20 or 30 people that have good, respectable physiques, the middle group. And then the rest of the people are still working their way up. It's motivating because everyone has a chance of succeeding. If you've been to the gym, you understand the importance of repetition, doing reps. A rep is the number of times you do a certain exercise. Like 15 push-ups is 15 reps of push-ups. So even people still working toward their goals have a chance of succeeding if they put in the reps. If they do a little bit a day over a long period of time, they'll get there. The process is simple. The more you do, the longer you stick with it, the more progress you make. And the same goes for learning language or any other goal in life. It's about putting in the reps a little bit a day, consistently, for a long period of time. If you want to get bigger muscles, you pick up a dumbbell and you do reps. If you want to learn more words, you do the reps. Five new words a day. So, what can you do right now? For example, if you're using our program, just do one lesson a day. If you have a textbook, do one page a day. If you're using an app, put in five minutes a day. Again, everyone has a chance to succeed. They just need to put in the reps and they need to make the time. This is where the second lesson comes in. You'll learn how to find and make time to learn a language. There's a reason the people you see at the gym daily, and especially the people you see at 10 p.m. on a Friday, are the ones with above average results. They're the most consistent. But how do they get that level of consistency? There tend to be three types of people. First, the people that have plenty of free time, so it's a non-issue for them. Second, the busier people. They make time regardless of what their schedule is like, meaning they show up at 1 a.m. just to fit in a session, or they cancel other plans to make time. And third, the people who have made it a habit. 
They're so used to going that they don't have to think about it. Ideally, you want to be in the third group with language learning, but most people fall into the second group. The truth is that to make time, they have to cancel other plans. Some wake up earlier to squeeze in a session in the AM. Some go late at night. It's the same exact thing with language learning. You make time. The good news with language learning is you don't need to open up a lesson at 1 a.m. and put in an hour. With our learning program, you'll get our quick but powerful 3 to 15 minute audio and video lessons. And because the lessons are short, you can easily make time. You can do a lesson on your commute or while walking somewhere. Imagine learning a quick conversation while on your way to the store. Finally, the third language learning lesson you'll learn at the gym is why you don't need the best possible routine to get results. Have you ever heard a friend say, I have to start the right way. It has to be perfect. Well, this is a disastrous way to start anything, whether fitness or language learning. And most learners spend a lot of time worrying about starting right instead of just starting and keeping at it. But the point is, if you start learning from a textbook and stick with it, you'll get results. You'll improve your reading, vocabulary, and grammar. Of course, it won't get you speaking. You'll only get good at what you focus on. But the fact is, you'll still make progress. Same with the gym. If you start off with bicep curls, you'll see progress in time. But at some point, you'll need to add in legs as well. You can't skip leg day. So here's what you can learn. Here's what smart beginners do. They don't look for the best way to start. They just start and keep going. And once they have a consistent routine, they start optimizing. They improve their routine. If you start taking one lesson a day and can easily maintain that routine, then you might eventually realize that you want to practice speaking. You need to shadow that lesson's conversation. So you add shadowing to your routine, and that's how you grow. Same thing with the gym. The smart beginners make sure they do their reps and come in as much as possible. And doing the basics is enough for them to build muscle. Later on, they'll start adjusting their exercises and adding new ones. But you'll never get to that point if you overthink yourself into inaction and don't build that habit. So as long as you start and continue, most starting routines and learning methods are good enough. You don't need the best possible one right now. You could have the best possible language learning program, but if you don't use it consistently, it's useless. All right, so today you learned, one, how to approach your goals, two, how to find time to learn a language, and three, why you don't need the best possible routine or learning program. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review. The monthly show on language learning, where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the free lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to speak more of your target language, talking points for language learners. And today you're going to learn, one, what talking points are, two, five talking points you can use to start conversations and maximize your speaking time, and three, how to get our conversation cheat sheets so you can speak even more of your target language. And you'll find out how to get them for free. If you've always wanted to speak more in your target language, then this episode is for you. I'll get into this in just a bit. If you're like most language learners, then your number one goal is to speak more, right? You want to have fluent conversations with natives. It's a great goal to have. But for most language learners, speaking also happens to be their weakest skill. You may not know enough of the language to express yourself. You tend to run out of words and things to say. And you're just not sure how to start conversation. If you have at least one of these issues, then talking points are just what you need. Part one, what's a talking point? A talking point is a topic that invites discussion or argument. In other words, just something to talk about. It could be about yourself, your work, your hobbies, the weather, food, or what you did this past weekend. All of these are talking points. Here's an example to help you better understand talking points. Think of a conversation you'd have with a friend. You can ask, what did you do this weekend? They'll reply and then ask you back. The talking point here is the weekend. Let's say your friend says they went to a restaurant. That's a natural talking point to explore next. You can ask, what kind of restaurants do you like? Now you've covered two talking points. The more talking points you have, the more you can speak. And the same goes for your target language. 
The only challenge is you need to know the relevant words and phrases for that topic. For example, if you want to talk about the weekend, you need to know phrases and questions like, what did you do this weekend? I did this. What about you? In the next part, you'll discover five easy talking points that you can master with our learning program. Let's get into part two. Part two, five talking points you can use. The first one is, learn how to introduce yourself in your target language. Why is this a powerful talking point? Introducing yourself is something you'll do again and again, every time you meet someone new. So learning the relevant phrases is a must. If you've done the first few lessons on our site, you can already do this. If not, then check out our absolute beginner lessons and the top 25 questions you must know lessons. You'll learn basic conversations with our quick three to 15 minute lessons. We'll give you the exact lines to use along with the translations so that you can use them in conversations. You can also use this talking point to continue a conversation. For example, if you've started with a different point like the weather, then it makes sense to say, by the way, my name is. Talking point number two, the weather. This is a universal talking point. People like to talk or complain about the weather all over the world. In fact, just saying, it's really nice today, is enough to start a conversation with a native speaker. If you want to talk about the weather, check out our can-do lesson pathway called Can Talk About Weather. You'll find this pathway in the absolute beginner level of our lesson library. Talking point number three, compliments. Compliments are another great way to start a conversation or continue one. If you're running out of things to say, you can quickly transition and say something about their city, their country, or just, hey, I like your shirt. If you want to learn how to compliment, check out our compliments phrase list. This list is free to access for all users. If you don't know where to find it on our site, leave a comment in the comments below and we'll follow up. Point number four, ask for help. For example, you can ask for directions or about the price and let the conversation go from there. These are very basic phrases that you learn in our survival phrases lessons. If you want to strike up a quick dialogue, this is a great talking point to use. Point number five, learn phrases for transactions, like getting a room at a hotel, shopping, ordering food, or telling the taxi driver where to go. You may think that this isn't much of a talking point, but for the learners that are shy about talking to random native speakers for no reason, this is an easy way to start a dialogue. You have a good excuse. You wanna buy something so the staff will be happy to respond. Again, you learn all of these with our survival phrases lessons. Okay, let's move on to our last part. Part three, how to get our conversation cheat sheets. Lastly, I'm going to tell you how to get our collection of conversation cheat sheets for free. With these cheat sheets, you'll be able to talk about all kinds of topics, travel, hobbies, dating, family, weather, and much more, which means you can master a lot of talking points and speak more of your target language. If you'd like to get these cheat sheets, please leave us a comment in the comment section. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to double your speaking time in your target language. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye! Great work, here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.